Hi there, Jeremy Nagel with another video. This time we're going to be talking about mapping fields from leads to accounts, contacts and potentials. Basically, we want to make sure that all the relevant information will transfer over when we convert the lead by clicking on the convert button. To figure out how it is set up, you can either go into setup or you can use this quick link when you are clicking on the convert button. I personally find going to setup is a bit easier to find. I'll go setup, modules, leads, and then I go here, lead conversion mapping. So, what you have is a list of all of the fields in the leads module and then you have the option of mapping that field to a field in the account contact and potential you'll note here that I don't have the add call log field in the accounts module and you'll also note that it's only showing one field here the reason for that is that the mapping UI only shows fields that are of the same data type. Add call log is a decision box field, a tick box. The only tick box I have in account is active client. If I did want to map it across, what I would need to do is create the custom field in the accounts module first, and then map it to the relevant part. Now, the other things, let's talk about other things that are important here. You can, as well as doing it this way, it's a bit cumbersome. The way I prefer to do it is to do it when I'm creating the layout. If I add in a, a new field in the leads module, just add in a percent blah 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 then I click on the cog and I click on edit properties I can do also create for account contact and project and if you do that then it will set up the mapping and in this case it will be added as it says as the last field in the first section. If we do that, let's have a look at what happens. Go across to accounts. You'll see it's been added there. That in many ways is the easiest way of doing it because it can be easy to forget to do that and so has made it slightly less intuitive on how to do the field mapping in the new UI compared to the old UI where it was quite apparent that you could do field mapping. Hopefully this gives you a understanding of how to do it. The other thing you might want to do, I've had in some cases people ask me to as well as mapping to accounts, contacts and potentials, that if you have a custom module in this case, let's say HC82. What if I want to create a new HC82 record when I convert a lead? The way to do that involves using custom functions and workflows. Basically, go into automation, workflow rules, create a new rule. And we'll do it on the contacts module. Basically what's going to happen is you convert the lead, that creates a contact and then when the contact is created we will also create a HC82. To do that we'll use deluge script, we'll write a custom function let's just check what 
fields do I need for an HC82? Just need the name. I'll keep this video short because I don't need to give you a demo of custom functions that will come later. This is just an overview of what's possible. Okay, we've got our contact record, let's get the contact name. Get the first name, and we'll do a null check. So no one likes having null in their name. And then we'll create our HC82 record. Start off with a map. We'll put the name. And take note that you need to do custom module one name. Even though I've renamed that module to HC82, you still need to use the underlying system name. That applies to all modules. For example, I've renamed potentials to projects. If I want to create a potential, I still need to, well, if I want to create a project, I still need to use potentials rather than projects. Okay, now we'll insert it. Let's test that out. Very good, created successfully. No, not that one. There we go, that is in. And you could of course get any number of fields from the contact module and put it into the custom module that you want to have created when you convert a lead. That gives you a bit of a picture of what's possible. Again, you start by creating a workflow and you do it on the triggered by the creation of a contact because the lead will be converted into the contact and then as soon as the contact is created you will create a new custom module based on that contact and if you didn't actually want a contact then you could set it up so that the custom function deleted the contact and preserved the custom module record that you created that's probably the edge cases of what most people will do I think for most people you will be quite happy with just having the basic lead conversion mapping, but I wanted to give you a picture of what is possible